Despite some volatile and bearish trading, 2015 heads towards a bullish end, as the 2080 to 1920 boundary developed a multitude of bullish conditions, from the triple and double bottom that were both completed by gap ups. Similar to before, there is a gap up range shared by two gap ups. Like with other examples, the first gap up fail fails to produce a bullish reversal due to constant selling pressure in early 2016 that quickly subsides. As Nvidia's price substantially increases, the larger uptrend is more aggressive as the gap up into the 40s is not immediately filled. The triple top range's lower boundary is extended to factor in the gap up fill range. Since the lower boundary of the widened bearish range was not conclusively broken, there is a gradual resumption of the larger uptrend. An aggressive incline emerges again as a new gap up is not immediately filled. After some moderate corrections, a double top range forms but is less likely to produce a drop, since a small double bottom towards March begins an incline away from the lower boundary. As the double top drop gets delayed further, the pattern becomes less effective and eventually fails, with another aggressive leg up, marked by a gap up that is not immediately filled. The upper boundary of the ascending triangle could have been raised to encompass the higher downswings in August, but it is still fairly accurate and the more important feature now is the uptrend line. The crossing of the uptrend line leads to a characteristic horizontal range of neutral and now decreasingly bearish price action and volume towards June. This relieves selling pressure to stabilize the long-term uptrend without necessarily having a single moderate to large drop for a correction. This will increase the chances a bullish continuation takes place. As long as Nvidia can begin establishing over the 250s range in the ongoing effort to establish into the 250s, the residual influence of the old uptrend line is seen as it crosses around the neckline break of a compact head and shoulders. 2018 ends with a larger correction due to the extended delay of the weak break through the 250s. Even years later, the minimal influence of the long-term uptrend line is still visible as it crosses a failed concave triple top range. It begins to fail as a noticeable incline leads to an extended neutral to bullish phase, delaying a large drop from immediately forming.